friends, welcome to Connected. Once again, we meet here on your bilingual space. We are going to be meeting a new guest and we are going to learn about a new topic. I hope you had a great week. You are already getting ready to enjoy your weekend, be with your family or by yourself. Whatever is the case, I hope you feel great and I hope you have great expectations for the days to come. I'm talking to you from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. I want to remind you that you don't only see us through the Abby Ayala channel, but you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. at doing something and we start thinking how did I ever learn to do this you're always going to think about somebody that taught you it could be your father your mother a teacher or maybe some uh, school trainer or somebody so well there is where I want to go today so today's topic talks about the people that are being trained in order to coach you in life yes a life coach have you ever heard about this? If you have, stick around to meet our beautiful guest. She's very talented and she is a life coach. If you never heard about this, get comfy that we're going to dive into this topic and we're gonna learn all about it. Today we talk about life coach with Natalia Gallardo from Lima, Peru. Stick around, stay connected, we'll be right back. My beautiful audience thank you for remaining connected before we meet Natalia Gallardo that is already connected with us from Lima Peru I'm going to let you know a little bit about her background Natalia Gallardo was born in Lima Peru at the young age of 16 years old she moved to the US to pursue a modeling career it didn't take too long until she became a supermodel and started to travel the world Although she reached great success, she wasn't quite fulfilled. All the traveling and obligations for sure created a high level of stress. Instead of dealing with this potting and attending after parties, she found yoga and started to practice it. In 2009, she completed the first serious class with Greg Nardi. In November 2011, she studied at Samahita Retreat Yoga in Thailand with Paul Dalagan and a wonderful team of teachers. In 2013, she received a certification of two hours completed from Yoga Alliance. She studied at Miami Life Center in the city of Miami with Kino McGregor, Till Fiedman and Alexandra Santos. She then continued traveling and participating in other yoga workshops. After that, she was trained at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, where she studied a variety of nutritional theories and lifestyle coaching methods. She is passionate about sharing the wellness of yoga and health coaching and she believes that everything starts with the knowledge about oneself. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Natalia Gallardo. Natalia, welcome to Connected. And I already want to start with the first question because I'm curious and because I've been repeating the same words and I'm sure we need some uh, explanation about it. So please tell us, what is a life coach? Hi, Fabiana. So what is a life coach? I'm a health coach and also I will say a life coach. Uh, really someone that guides you step by step. Uh, it helps you to make the changes that you need or that you want. It's kind of you design your life the way you want it and sometimes you feel that you need certain changes in different aspects. Um, in health coaching we we really work in primary food and secondary food. 
So, primary food is really is what um, is important in life to uh, give harmony and balance in your life. Uh, it could be oh, a relationship, a spirituality, how you feel um, in your physical body, uh, also how you feel uh, in your work, in your office, at home, if you cook. Uh, and then the secondary food is nutrition. So you try to really um, have uh, the best healthy life you want, uh, but the coach just guides you to whatever you want to do in your life. Basically, if somebody would like, how does somebody get to the decision that I need help? How does that process happen? I think it's because they don't feel like they need a therapist and they don't need a nutritionist. So it's kind of like they need just someone that guide is next to them, guiding them. So kind of supporting them and giving the a lot of tools because what we like a like a coach, I give lots of tools depending on what they need to change in life. Right. You know? Proof. It can be nutrition, it can be in the relationship, it can be different type of relationship, it can be with a family or with a partner, uh, or how they feel in the office, what they can change, you know. You help them structure everything also. Sometimes people that they don't know what they really want in life, so you really help them. Like, um, okay, step by step, because sometimes it's like they're like in a blender in their mind, and they don't know what, uh, what they want. They don't know how to organize their thoughts and their desires. In life, what they want to do with their life, and once they know one, you can guide them towards that goal. Let's say, right? So, Natalia, looking back to um, all of your life, basically, I wonder because you were a top model traveling the world with a different, completely a different lifestyle, where. Uh, maybe being having an, a, a schedule probably was not a priority because you were changing hours and countries and stuff like that. So after that, you find yoga and then you decide, decide to uh, pursue the life coaching um, career. So what made you realize that this was your call? What made you pursue it? Okay. <laughs> um, first of all, when I was very young, I was in a school. Uh, I was already very natural coach, I guess. Like all my friends will ask for advice and tell me so many details about their life and problems. So for me, it was just natural, like to listen to them and give guidance. But when I was so young, that didn't exist to be a coach. It, it was not like a career, right? So then I started uh, modeling when I was 15. I modeled for so many years, um, maybe until my, I still model, but uh, in my peak of, I'm not in my peak of my career anymore. But then after the peak of my career, that was, I don't know, I worked like crazy, like for 20, 20 years, maybe something like that. And then I wasn't in the peak of my career anymore. And uh, two of my good friends, they were passing through problems and they're like, you know, you're like, you're a coach. And they told me, like, you're naturally a coach. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know that you can study for that. And they said, yeah, of course, you, you should study to become a coach, right? And then I'm like, oh, I love it. Because then when they, they told me that this exists, I'm like, oh, this is perfect for me because it really is natural for me. So when I study, to become a coach for me it was natural like to, when after like let's say six months like that you start practicing right while you study uh you're not certified yet but you you can start practice and for me it was very natural like i didn't feel uncomfortable or anything so it just i don't know i guess i love it it's really great I love the part of the being supportive because sometimes we may count with our family or you know friends maybe I don't know some people are rich through religion different type of um, of supportive uh, not source of support but I wonder as a coach what are the aspects you work with in order to coach a client 
Okay, first of all, you do like an initial consultation to see if you can help the person for what they want or need at that, at that moment, right? So in that first consultation, you're very sincere, right? And really, just when you talk to them, you can see if you can um, give something to them, see if you can help them and guide them, right? Sometimes maybe not, it never happened to me that I don't feel I have nothing to give to that person. So for me, it's like, oh, I don't know, it's, it's tricky to describe because when you talk to a person, it's like, oh, I can really give so much to this person. Each person is a universe, right? So let's say maybe in relationships or maybe in finances, they're not so good or in a spirituality. And for them, you can feel when you talk to them that it's um, a problem for them and they want to um, uh, get better in, di in different aspects, but they don't know because there's so much information out there and they, they just don't see it clear. So you just guide them and give all the tools. And if you feel that in that initial consultation that you can work with them, you just tell them, look, I, th I think I can really um, be positive for the changes that you want in these, these, these aspects, depending on what they want. Because some just uh, feel, it's funny, sometimes, most of the time I will say, people that come for nutrition, like say, oh, everyone wants to lose weight, most of the people, right? <laughs> uh, how you say primary food, that is so important. Usually you have a problem with primary food, uh, but they come for uh, the secondary food. Right? Um, yeah, this is, you just help them little by little. So, yeah, it's very uh, nice when you see uh, one person that really puts all of the effort because you can give all the tools and the guidance and the support, but if they don't make the changes, it's nothing you can, because you cannot make the changes for them, right? You can give a you can guide them, you can be supportive, uh, but if they don't really put the effort, then it's yeah. not gonna yeah. happen yes it's and not gonna I think that is, it must be very delicate because people nowadays and i include myself we are very uh we're we're very look we very much look for instant gratification so it's like oh i'm gonna take this course and i'm gonna take this therapy and you want the result and sometimes you get lost on uh, looking at the result uh instead of actually do the work and this is something that is very true. If we don't put the work, if we don't do what we have to do, and if we don't discipline ourselves and all the stuff that involves create a change in ourselves, then it's just not gonna happen. I saw on your web that you kind of use, you kind of integrate nutrition, yoga, and life coaching. Tell us a little bit about those three, uh, those three aspects working together. Yeah, it's really beautiful because uh, I've been teaching yoga ooh, for some, uh, I think for over now maybe six years, but I've been practicing Ashtanga for 14, the lineage that I follow. So then I create this program that is called Natural Sexy. So, but for me, I needed to integrate yoga because I know yoga is an amazing tool to control your mind, to be in peace, happy. Um, yeah, be the, I think, the best you can be, right? So I'm like, okay, I want to create a program that I can teach people about nutrition because I, that's, my passion is yoga and coaching, right? So then I'm like, I create this program and that's how I integrate because for me, it's like sometimes, yeah, you can have the guidance, but then I don't want them, uh, my clients to become dependent, right? I want them to give what they need but I want them to feel calm, healthy, oh, okay. and yeah. So it usually takes uh, like six months. I, I have clients that in four months, because they're like very like, ooh, making the changes and working for it, right? And in four months, they're like, I say, if you want another session, it's fine, whatever you need, feel the need, but you're doing amazing, right? So right. that's I think this program really to help. It's like, a, a, a compact of the whole idea to uh, to make the first changes, and I give a lot of cool information in the program. 
what will it be the most common issue your clients come when they, they look for your coaching? What is the topic that you see repeatedly, not, not always maybe a topic, but like, what is the recurrent issue that you see people struggling with? Uh, I will say two different things. If I see the part of nutrition, it will say to, they don't know how to eat uh, in the best way. For me, it's to eat very alkaline, alkaline right? And also to eat healthy, to choose and mix the, the food in a proper way for them, for their needs. Okay. And, Ex explain mm -hmm. really fast for, for uh, to us uh, the alkaline par uh, part of it. Really fast, just really short. Just tell us kind of what it uh, is and what it does. The easiest way you make sure that you're eating more alkaline is to eat as natural and the whole, let's say if it's a grain, it will be a whole grain, right? So the less process that you can just think that you're eating all the colors. Like you go to the supermarket and eat all the colors. So if you eat natural, like very healthy, right? No process, no uh, the food. So then you're gonna eat uh, being an alkaline part. Yeah, when you eat a lot of sugar and it's processed and uh, like um, flour, like white, that is not healthy for you, then your pH right in your blood is gonna become acidic, and then you get sick and. It causes inflammation in you. So the easiest way to know that you're healthy is just choose the most natural, uh, the less processed food that you that you can. And it's amazing because when you start eating that way, even mentally you are awake. It's in a cellular level you really feel awake. When you don't go to more heats and love of sugar, you know, like a roller coaster of sugar then you you see clear even you leave you listen like to the birds <laughs> it sounds funny but seriously you go for a walk and you're like oh my god you're i'm really awake that's that's the feeling like oh i was asleep in my life it's crazy but uh, right. you have full, full energy you don't need to drink coffee all the time because also when your your system is very acidic you don't have your best energy and you're, in your mind, you're not awake, really. Like, you're kind of surviving, right. I would say. <laughs> Energy-wise, right? right? In survival mode. Okay, in so survival. let's go back a little bit to the the question I was we were talking about before, which was what the people come looking for you more for uh, help with the nutrition part, right? Yeah, so that's one part. And the other area, and the, the next reason also where they come to me, um, it's because they, I would say they stop uh, believing that they're special, I guess, that that's the feeling, like they don't feel that connection with the divine. And for me, that's really, so when they come like feeling that way, because they stop believing. It's very sad, like the, the family, they put them down a lot, like in life. I guess since many of them since they were kids and they they just like robots that's one one aspect and the other aspect they live like robots they're super I notice that more and more people um, they don't have time to eat almost so that's why they don't eat healthy and they don't have time for themselves so they don't have time to enjoy life uh, they're like robots, so they have to make more money and they, they work many times in big corporation, corporations and they have really good jobs, they make good money, but they don't have a life. And that happens more, and many, many of these people, they have panic attacks. And that's when, with that, uh, breathing exercises and the yoga, oh my God, to see that change is so, like, it makes me happy. Like some of the, the for example, they stop driving because they have panic attacks and they get anxious. They have like anxiety attacks, right? Like that. Right. So they have to close in the, go to the bathroom and close the door and they, they kind of breathe like, to that point. And they get medication, uh, not from me, because a coach doesn't give medication or remove any medication, right? 
So we're just a support, okay? So that is so beautiful with the changes, with the yoga, with the breathing, uh, organizing, change, you know, the changes in their life. Little by little, they feel again, like, and they start believing, and they see they're not robots. Like, they feel, again, a connection with the divine, because many, uh, many clients, I feel like when they come to me in the beginning, they lost that connection. Like, they feel empty inside, many of them. So we're doing, we're saying nutrition, and then the connection from, uh, the connection with themselves is the thing that they, they lose, and they go, uh, they look for a life coach or a health coach in order to find uh, or to reconnect, correct? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. They don't see it that way. They will not say it that way. But yeah, that's what it is. They need to reconnect. And I want to know more, Natalia. We're going to go to a cut really fast and we're going to come <laughs> back with the last question for you. People at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay connected. We have the last question for Natalia, unfortunately, because I love this topic and I wish we could have more time to talk more about it. But let's go ahead with the last one. Um, Nati, in order to um, see in which levels uh, coaching can impact a person's life, can you give us a story from, from your experience? Yes, I will say uh, for me, it makes me really happy when I see that clients, for example, one of my clients, he came, um, she did coaching. Now she comes to sessions, but not so often, just when, whenever she needs. But she was with me like over six months, Olivia. And I'm like, oh, I, I really, for what you came, you're ready, you improve. Amazing. Like, I feel that you're ready, right? But sometimes it's hard for them because they're afraid because for what they experienced in the past. For example, she used to have a panic attacks. Like she's the, one of my clients that stopped driving because uh, she, yeah, she was uh, anxiety attacks. Uh, also, she wanted to lose weight and she wasn't happy with the job because her job is like, oh my God, it's so much uh, responsibility, but also it's not a responsibility. I would say that the goals that they give to them, like it's never enough. And really if you put on time, are enough hours in the day to do what you have to do on their job. Like it's great, it's impossible really, right? And she's like, no, it's impossible. I cannot do, I have to do all my responsibilities in a certain, in that period of time as a human, I need to sleep also, right? So it wasn't possible. And, but then she, now she's driving, she also lose weight, she choose uh, healthier. And also her mind is amazing because this is the important thing. If you change your mind, make the changes, right? If you change how you see things, then that whatever give anxiety to her is still there but now she doesn't feel that anxiety of that panic attack because she is still have the same and now she has even more responsibility but she doesn't have that that i think yoga it helped her so much like tongues the and breathing like the, in the process sometimes when she felt like it was coming because uh, she she explained she described how she feels when she's gonna get like a panic attack uh she started breathing but not like the pranayama breathing, although she didn't in that. If she was in a meeting, she was not touching the nose, right? But then she learned from herself with her breathing, just inside herself, you know? And that helped her a lot. And then now she knows that she can only do what is possible. Like, she's not a robot. So it gets to a point that like if they want um, a good quality of work from her, just to open that it's not humans cannot cannot work twenty four seven, right? So they need to have a life in order to do a better job also. So right. then she relax. Nati, tell us a little bit, how do you work with some people online? I see that you give your therapy, oh, I mean not therapy, but you coach people uh one on one, right? In Lima with face to face, but also online. How does that work for you? 
well, online you can use a Skype or WhatsApp or, you know, now FaceTime. So nowadays, because that technology is much easier to work that way. And many times because the traffic is crazy, uh, some people, they just want like online in the computer, you know, or in the phone. It's easier for them with the video calls, right? So it works really good. I, I have to say, for me, it works the same. It's the same impact, but it depends on the culture. For example, now I'm living in Peru, and in Peru, but they prefer sometimes phone calls, like if it's a follow-up, kind of, but then the meeting, the session, they wanted a face-to-face. -face. But let's right. say, when I was in the United States, I had people that they're totally friends and say, oh, the traffic is crazy, let's have, let's do a Skype, for example, no? Let's do a Skype and it's perfect. Because then you give like certain, especially in the very beginning, uh, you give a lot like kind of little works like uh, of introspection. So they have to, to do. And I sent a lot of things online, on emails, so like PDFs, things that they have to work. And then we talk, but they have to work also because they have to work on that introspection of what they really want. In the very beginning, uh, is I would say it's a lot of that, right? And with nutrition, well, I give all online about nutrition because a program that I create, the Natural Sexy program, is online. So you can take everything online. Of course, that's not coaching because uh, if you don't talk to me, it's not coaching. I give you exercises. But only if you you decide to go for the coaching also, then we interact that way. If not, I have a Facebook group that is only for participants that then they always be with me whenever they want, right? And WhatsApp, I'm really good with WhatsApp with my clients. And I always say, even if you're in a restaurant and you don't know what to do, <laughs> you know what to choose. Or, you know, what should I eat here when they're learning what to choose? Uh, so they, they come WhatsApp, they don't know what to order. I'm like, okay, for me, you know, it's, they're like friends, right? After all, it's like, I really care about them and I want the best for them. Natalia, thank you so much for the work that you do. I'm sure that every person that like crosses your path, I can only imagine how much they can learn and how much they can change. And not only them, but the people around them. And I really think that that's what we need in this world. I really, uh, I admire your work and I admire you. And I wanna thank you so much for uh, spending this time with us. I'll give you a little space for you to say hi to the audience and also to uh, let them know your email address so they can, or not your email address, but your webpage, so they can write to you. Oh, thank you, Fabiana. I want to uh, say thank you for listening uh, uh, about coaching today and always believe in yourself. Like never stop dreaming and dream big and make your dreams just real. You know, step by step, you can do whatever you really want to do in life. Um, and never, never stop believing in yourself. That's the most important, you know, look for that connection, have an introspection time with yourself, be sincere with what you want in life. I will say that. Uh, try to practice a breathing exercise, even if it's yoga or Kung Fu, also, you know, that works with breathing. So then you can be calm and happy and just better for your life. Um, and then my website, you can uh, find uh, my programs and to know more about me in nataliagallardo.info. Now, that's my name, Natalia Gallardo Dati. And I have Instagram, you can follow me too, and Facebook and everything. You know, you can find everything on my website. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Natalia. I will have your information on the screen. And I hope you always stay well. And thank you so much again. Until the next time. Bye bye. Thank you, Fabiana. Bye. <laughs> bye. After listening to Natalia and everything she taught us, I summarize four steps. Number one, recognize you have a problem. Number two, accept that you have that issue. Number three, seek for help. And number four, take action. Changes can happen, you just have to put up the work. Always remember, use the powerful tool that you have, that is the internet. Nowadays, we can be coached even online. 
So there are no excuses. There is nothing that can really stop you from improving your experience in this lifetime. The world needs that light that you have and also you need that own light that you have. So let's work for it. You are worth it. We got at the end of the show and I'm gonna see you again in seven days. Remember that if you know somebody that is doing something great, a good work or just for the world or for themselves, please let them know, let me know. Write me an email to conectadosbolivia24 at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to connect with you. I will see you in seven days. Have a great week. Goodbye.